a record number of people are expected to make their way to various fan parks across the country for the Rugby World Cup final tonight. Both the Springboks and the All Blacks will be looking to secure a record fourth win. And Durban Bok fans are out and about making final preparations ahead of the mammoth clash this evening. Our reporter Sipoga Zimalinga is in Durban and joins us now. Good afternoon to you, colleague, and thank you for joining us. Just give us a sense of the vibe, the excitement that is already building ahead of the clash this evening. Evening. A very good morning. Yes, we are at the Crusaders um, Rugby Club here in Durban. And of course, you know, there is a lot of excitement. People came in here around 6 o'clock. Some even um, came in at 7 o'clock just to secure tables because they know it's going to be packed. A lot of excitement, green and gold um, jerseys everywhere, flags flying high. And of course, we do have a lot of supporters here that we are going to speak to and just find out what, how they think the game is going to go tonight, uh, tonight um, against uh, New Zealand. You know, it's two heavyweights that are going head to head, a game that we've all been looking forward to, a game that we've been talking about since last week after we beat England in the semi finals. I do have the supporters here, and I'm quickly just going to speak to them. Um, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today. Now, you woke up super early. Um, I think it was quarter to seven you were here. Yes. Um, tell me why you did that. Oh, we just wanted to get a good seat to watch the final, and this place gets absolutely packed. It is such a vibey place, so we wanted to make sure we are in the front and getting a good seat to watch all the action, yeah. How do you think the game is going to go today? I mean, we did have tight games against um, France and um, England. How do you think um, today's game against New Zealand is going to go? Hey, we back the Boca all the way, and um, hopefully we win in the first half and we can relax and enjoy our evening. But if not, it'll be an exciting one. Thank you so much Thank for your you. time. I do have someone they call a super fan here with me. Um, he's even got a Vuvuzela looking like thing here with a drink. Um, thank you so much for taking the time no to talk to me. Um, New Zealand, South Africa, uh, predictions for the game? I think South Africa's got to have it. Um... <laughs> Yeah, as I said, I think South Africa's got to have it. Uh, and then again, it is our boys. We have to back them through and through. It's going to be a very close game. Physical, we've got 7-1 split. It's going to be a very upfront game. The weather is very wet there, as it is here in Durban. Um, but yeah, hopefully the boys can take it. I'll put us 15-9. to nine. Thank you so much for your time. I'm quickly going to go to another table. Um, that I heard they were here since 6 o'clock this morning and I'm quickly just going to speak to them as well. Uh, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Now, you guys were here 6 o'clock um, this morning, backing the box, of course. Um, how do you foresee that game um, going tonight? Well, of course, a Springbok victory, but I can't take all the credit for being here at 6 o'clock. It's a roster system that we've organised for today. So generally, we couldn't organise a piss-up in the brewery, but when it comes to the Springboks, we can arrange something. So we're all here. Ready to watch the game, ready to support the box. Do you think um, the Brocks are taking it their fourth title this year? Look, I don't think it's going to be an easy game, but I mean, what kind of clash spring up New Zealand? So, yeah, looking forward to it. Thank Go you. Box. Go Box, it is. I'm just going to quickly ask my colleague Fran to show you um, what's going on here. So there's a lot of people already. Already 70% of the tables have been um, taken and you can see the kind of vibe and excitement we are expecting tonight. Obviously, it's still going to get more packed. We're still going to see more people come in. And of course, we will be moving all everywhere around Durban. We do have a big screen right behind me. And, you know, like I said, Go Box, it is an exciting day today and we're all backing and riding behind the spring box as they're heading to the final against uh, New Zealand. And Sipugazi, we remember uh, the captain, Sipo, uh, Sia Kolisi, um, saying that they're actually doing this for the fans. There's 60 million or so South Africans who are rallying behind the box. One could argue even the continent at large, claiming uh, that uh, the Boca belongs to Africa. But as South Africa, we have been uh, on the edge of our seats. You know, it was a nail-biting uh, performance against England and France as well. The hard palpitations are on record highs, but we do believe that the box will certainly uh, bring back the uh, Webb Ellis Cup uh, again in the country. What is the sense in terms of the anticipation, anxiety that uh, fans are feeling where you are? 
Well, you know, when I spoke to them a little bit earlier, they did say the last two games, like you mentioned, um, uh, the quarterfinal against France and the semifinal did give us high blood pressure. We were all at the edge of our seats. We were all biting our nails, um, you know, and they managed to go through the resilience that they showed. Even today, there's still that anxiousness. Um, and, you know, but, you know, they, they, they're confident that the box will go the way. Like you said, Sia Konisi said they're doing it for the nation. I'm sure the box have seen just how much South Africa is rallying behind them. On social media, everywhere, there are videos of how we celebrate every time they win. Obviously, they, we are a bit anxious, but you know what? I think um, at the end of the day, they're confident in the boys, and they know that they've done it twice in the quarterfinals and the semifinals. Um, they, they know that um, they'll push till the end. Yeah, and uh, it's, it's, it's of course uh, about the mental uh, state of mind as well of the Boca going against New Zealand. The All Blacks have been quite a heavy contender uh, whenever there is an engagement with the, the Springboks. The Haka, uh, that war cry that they perform before uh, the, uh, the start or the kickoff of the game. We, we've got the national anthem, we've got the Ghis, the spirit and as, um, aspirations of the nation behind the Boca. Yes, I mean, the Haka is a bit intimidating for sure, but um, I'm sure the Springboks have played New Zealand many times. I'm sure they've, they're used to it by now. I'm sure it's not as intimidating as it was before, but it is the final, so you never know exactly how intimidating, int intimidated they're going to be. But, you know, they know that we, we have their backs. They know that the whole of South Africa is rooting for them. We have the national anthem. We have some of the fans in France as well. I'm sure they've seen on social media fans wishing them and sending messages of support, that should be enough to lead them to that glory, to, to lead them to lift that Webb Ellis trophy and bring it back home. Yeah, I think even international media um, reluctantly admit that South Africa is uh, the better of the two nations, albeit that, uh, of course, uh, this is not going to be a walk in the park for the Springboks, but they're mentally prepared. They've been here before at least three times in a World Cup clash, and we expect nothing less than a, a win, albeit just one point. But one would hope that even from the first half that they would secure uh, a... a you know, a, a convincing lead so that we're less anxious than what we were previously. Yes, like one fan said here yeah, that they're hoping South Africa um, scores early. They have an early lead so they can actually enjoy the game and actually get to relax, unlike the, the past two games um, that we've played. Um, but, you know, you never know how it's going to go. Also, another thing, we go into this game against New Zealand with a confidence high, having played them before the Rugby World Cup and actually winning. So, look, it may not be something huge, but it, it's a confidence booster for them, knowing that they were able to beat them before the Rugby World Cup. So we head into the Rugby World Cup hoping for that. We've never lost in the, in, in, in the final before. So um, let's hope we continue on that good run. All right, Sipugazi, thank you indeed. That's uh, ENCA reporter Sipugazi Malinga.